Empress Dalvin Gear. I never thought I would come to Azeroth just to be beaten by a bunch of mortals. There may still be a chance of escape, Dreadlord. We only need the aid of the other Nathrezim to combat the humans. Of course. Our performance in this world has only been terrible since Tychondrius left. Before we start, though, we will need to round up any undead warriors still. Look what we got here, boys. Some more undead bastards. And you must be one of the undead leaders. That is a bold statement to make human. You have no idea who I am. No need to. We have an undead leader who looks just like you, kept nicely contained in the city's prison. Dalvin Gear? Look, pal, if I wanted to know his name, I would have asked for it. You will not get away with this. Already have, mate. Even as we speak, several of our lieutenants are putting down whatever undead they can find. You have nowhere to hide. We shall see about that, human. as many undead as possible. enough forces. Hopefully we can make it back to the landing site before Tychondrius suspects anything. I already have Varimathras. Tychondrius, uh, what are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same question. Why aren't Dalvangir and you at your posts? We had a bit of a disagreement. He took half the Scourge and attacked the nearby human settlements. And you let him do this? Where is he now? You must listen to me, young ones. Our lands will be lost, unless you heed my warning. Sir, the nearby residents would appreciate it if you left the children alone. You cannot stop me on my mission, boy. I was approached by a demon. Yeah, and I was attacked by the Boogeyman last night in my sleep. What's all the commotion about? I thought I ordered you not to return until the undead have been dealt with. It could not be helped, my lord. We found this beggar wandering out in the wilderness, and we thought it would be genuine to bring him in and- I am no beggar! I am Magroth the Defender! And I have come forth to inform you how to defeat a most unspeakable evil! You mean the undead? Precisely. You mean you actually know how to get rid of the undead? Tell us, old man. My name is Magroth. No, I'll never remember that name. Just tell us what you know. My lord, you don't seriously believe that this man knows what he is going on about, do you? Be quiet, Captain. We must know what the old man has to say. Well, as you already know, the original Scourge was defeated by the death of the Lich King. He was essential in commanding the undead, and without him, the Scourge simply fell into ruin. In this case, the way to defeat the undead is basically the same. However, instead of one being, the power is split between three demons called Dreadlords. So all we have to do is kill these Dreadlords? Sounds simple enough. Maybe, but we have no idea what these Dreadlords look like. 
Perhaps we can ask the undead leader kept within the city's prison. I think not, Captain. You should be well aware that bargaining with outsiders is strictly forbidden, especially within my walls. Sir, we are not bargaining here. It is merely a means to deprive information out of him. I don't care what you call it. I'm in charge here and I say no. Besides, I have a better idea. I knew it would be a mistake to leave you two in charge. I should have gone by my instincts and left the Scourge back in Kalimdor. Yes, blame all of this on me now. You are forgetting that I was not the one who initiated the attack on the humans. You could have at least kept Dalvin Gear at bay until I had returned. It was never my responsibility to look after the fool in the first place. Besides, I could say quite a few things about- Enough is enough. Don't you two understand that the humans are massing up their forces nearby and will overrun us soon? You are right, Araj. I will deal with you later, Varimathras. For now, we must deal with these humans before summoning the Burning Legion. May I suggest we go after Dalvin Gear before taking any further actions? Forget it. He deserves to die after the mess he has got us in. He has made it impossible to get anywhere, now the humans know we are here. Maybe so, but their forces are vast, and at this stage, we need all the help we can get. Fine. But I will be keeping a close eye on him. Before we begin searching, we will need to establish a base to combat the human attacks. If that is the case, Tychondrius, you should know that nearly all the resources in the area are kept within the nearby city. Then we have no option. We will have to fight our way through the city in order to look for Dalvin Gear. Establish a base and search for Dalvin gear. Dead. Sound the alarm! Three of them as well. 
You see, I told you my ingenious plan would work. It depends whether or not our forces can contain them, Garethos. How many times do I have to tell you? The name is Lord Garethos. You should not have come. After what you have done, you do not deserve to be saved. However, we still require your assistance, so... No, Tychondrius. You should not have come. It's a trap. What? Seal the gate, men! Your evil scheme shall end this day, Dreadlord. And who are you humans supposed to be? We are the righteous who protect the weak and the innocent. It is our duty for humanity to vanquish evil with the holy light that guides us. You humans sound like a load of hogwash to me. You dare distrust in the light, Dreadlord? What we have done to your friend, we shall now do unto you. You can certainly try, human. our allies right to their deaths. You're lucky that I took the liberty of sending reinforcements. What do you mean? This whole thing was your idea. Quiet, you! Well, that was a total waste of time. Retreat to the inner city! Reinforcements are on their way! Reinforcements? There is no way we can survive another human counterattack. We have to get out of here. We are not done yet. Arash, we need to begin the preparations for the Apocalypse spell immediately. But Dreadlord, summoning the spell at this location will not allow us to destroy the entire kingdom of... I am well aware of the circumstances, Arash. My point is, if we do not summon the spell now, we will not get the chance to later on 